In this box is an Xbox Series S. We all know what that looks like. It looks like that. Got it a couple years ago. Did not open it until recently. I got a Monster Energy drink at the same time, and I think I got more use out of that than I did the actual Xbox. So I took this out and I plugged it in, turned it on and errors. I got the system error E200. That is either a hardware or a software error. This one, I believe it's a hardware error. E200 is a pretty common one. If it's software, I'll show you how to fix that. If it's hardware, well, best of luck to you. I didn't get this to work with a Microsoft said fix, but I will show you how to do that fix just in case yours is a software issue. You either want to get a USB stick or a micro SD card, which is what I've got here to plug in to the back. You want at least eight gigs. It says six gigs. I've never ever seen a six gig one of either one of these. So get an eight gig. Here we are over on the computer side. We search for Xbox Series X OSU one download. This will pop up the first result. Go ahead and click on that. And it gives you the instructions. He says six gigs. Um, so get an eight and then you download it through here, right here. And uh, before you do that, make sure to format it as NTFS. This does take a long time to download. I get a fiber optic line. Most things are really quick. Microsoft, their connection is not very fast apparently because this took an hour or so. Right here is the one that I've got in there, the USB. You go to format and make sure it's NTFS allocation you can click default or whatever you want and the capacity you can't change then you can just do a quick format click, click start i'm not going to do that because the file is already on there once that is done go over to your downloads wherever that may be and osu1 and you copy that drop it onto here which i've already done you then just eject i'm going to show this just on the small monitor so i can have the xbox right there this thing is pretty tiny go ahead and boot the xbox up and there we go, something went wrong. In the system error E100, sometimes it's E200. Now restarting isn't gonna do much of anything. You could troubleshoot, reset, turn off, I've done reset. That, that does nothing for this specific error. I'm gonna do the offline system update. As you can see, press right, it doesn't do anything. You've gotta actually have something plugged in and then it will populate right there. So plug this into the back and that becomes available offline system update and go ahead and press a and this may or may not work for an e200 or e100 error it doesn't work for this specific error i do believe this is a hardware error and to send it to microsoft would be slightly less than what i paid for the console it'll do an update sometimes it'll go through sometimes it won't if it's an e200 error this uh, may work if it's an e100 it may not so there's really no telling until you try to do this but on this xbox it does not work that's how to hopefully fix your xbox if you're seeing one of those errors i hope this helps somebody thank you for watching